All right, so what is going on YouTube today? We will be playing some Spy Gal Mr. Turbo. Um, yeah, uh, you know, if you guys did see the deck, it's pretty, it's a pretty trolley deck, pretty fun deck just to play, just for fun. So yeah, that's what we're gonna play today because I don't know what to play. I was gonna play Chris Don's, but I do want to do more research before I get into that. And also, I wanted to play Blackluster Soldier, uh, the Ritual deck, the BLS deck, or I don't even know what the hell you call it, Blackluster deck, Blackluster Soldier deck. I wanted to play that, but um, it, it just it's not working, and I, I got to work on it some more. So might as well play something fun. I'm gonna play this, and also I'm not at home, so that's why it does sound different. I do not have my microphone. I got to use the computer mic again. So that's only for today. I will be back home, you know, for next week and stuff like that. So if you guys can just bear with me for today, that'd be awesome. And, uh, yeah, so without further ado, there's not really too much else to discuss with this deck. Oh, yeah, the topic of the video. In the video, I want to, I don't know how how much am I going to, but I want to start, I mean, I want to discuss about the um, the, the hate for Zodiacs. I want to, you know, discuss that and give you guys my opinion on, you know, how popular the deck is. So, yeah, we're going to get into that during the video. But as always, before we start the video, I would like to say if you guys do enjoy the video, leave a like, leave a comment, and also subscribe if you have not already. Uh, upload a minimum of three videos a week, so you guys definitely have something to look forward to. And also, if you guys can, click an ad to help support the channel, which would be very helpful, and I appreciate it a lot. So yeah, without further ado, let's just get straight into these duels so we can discuss what I want to discuss. All right, so here we go, going up against the Lena Shroud. Now... Uh, let's see what we can do. We don't even want to go first. I want to go second. So actually, can we go first? Se going second is better, but yeah, let's just go second. Let's just see what we're going up against. And this is an awful hand. Um, this is very awful. And actually, it depends on if he summoned or she, whatever this is, summons a card. Doesn't. Okay, so we can spiral agent. Oh, there we go. Spiral Misty. So he has two back rows, so that means that there's there's three monsters in him potentially. Uh, let's go with monster. Let's just go with monster. Just potentially, can we just go with the monsters? Yay, predator plants. We were playing against predator plants, so let's pop you. Um, yeah, I always pop the second one. What do you do, predator planner? Okay, I don't know what any of these do. So let's go you. And it was a monster, correct? Yeah, it was a monster. So we're going to get a free draw. Let's see what we draw. Um, but yeah, so while this is going on, no, don't need to. Oh, I can chain it, huh? Sadly, we can't activate both. So what we're going to do is just do this because we do have a free agent to pop. So might as well. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and do this 15. All right. So a lot of people are complaining that uh, Zodiacs or... Um, I guess uh, they're, they're too powerful. They want people to ban Zodiacs or they hate Zodiacs. They want to quit because of Zodiacs and stuff like that. And, I, you know, I really don't, like, them them topping 30, 30 out of 32, I actually, I know it's going to be very unpopular, but I actually like when a deck does that. And it's like, it's not because, oh, I'm just, really? Are you kidding me? Um, but what I like about that is it forces like my deck is either I can play Zodiacs and increase my deck. I mean, to basically make my deck better is this during the first turn. No. Oh, you see what I'm talking about, fellas? Um, okay. So what we're going to do is call, I think we call spells because I think that he's not gonna, he's not gonna, Ooh, strike you son of a bitch. Wait, let me see. Can you, oh fuck, you can only use, god damn it. Well, we're going to go for it anyways. We're going to go for it, we're going to at least get something. Discard this, get the spy gal Misty. Use you. Uh, Let's say, I said spells, right? Then we're going to chain this Infernal Reckless Summoning and get all three of them out. And the one from the graveyard. It was a monster, okay. All right, there are monsters. All right, so that's a monster. Monsters. I, yeah, I probably should have said monster. I'm playing predator plants. Oh, that's that's really good. So what we can do is wonder on this. Get a free draw. I don't know what the fuck we can foolish, but let's just do this for free. Add you. 
Sadly, we can't send any spell cards. Um, I don't know what the fuck we can foolishness that. Let's see what we can do. We, well, that that didn't just. We might as well foolish that. There's no reason to even keep it. Um, what happens if this leaves the field? Okay, well we can just go. We can just go ahead and go into a utopia. Actually, we could have just won just now. If I just want, didn't want to be greedy, but I guess I just wanted to be greedy. I could have went to uh, what trapeze magician target the lightning and made it attack twice, and we could have won. But I didn't want to. I, I wanted to uh, go ahead and possibly lose the game because of my actions. But yeah, that was a bad mistake. I didn't mean to do that one either. I'm supposed to detach the two Misties. But uh, no, what do you do? You're supposed to come up. Mm -hmm. No. Okay, so yeah, about the Zodiacs. I like when a deck does that. Not like when Pepe. When Pepe was out, they were literally unbeatable. That was ridiculous. Zodiacs, um, how can I say this? How can I say this? Okay. What is this? Is this? Okay. So, um, with Zodiacs, they're not, like, super powerful. That's why you see them put in, like, my body as a shield and shit. Because they have to, they have to play around my body as a shield. They have to do, you know, they have to do... Uh, they like, uh, okay, okay, let me, hold on, let me, let me, let me gather my thoughts, because I'm getting my ass whooped, that's why I'm, you know, kind of losing focus here, uh, okay, so with Zodiacs, they're not unbeatable, uh, wait, no, 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 wait, wait, what am I gonna say, okay, all right, so, how much is that, that's 60, we can come back, right, folks, I'm pretty sure we can, uh, <clears throat> yeah, we have the light one, so we can just attack, we can attack this, with the light one and then banish it and then attack over this, right? Does this go down? Yes, we can win. Ooh, Wonder Wand. Oh wait, no, we need to we we need this. Okay. Well I was gonna fuck up just now. Uh <laughs> I was just gonna majorly fuck up. We're gonna Wonder Wand again because we may no wait, I don't think we can draw anything of worth. Ooh, a Lord Darkness. That's that's good. Okay, well that's worth. Yeah, we can just do that. <laughs> and then we can just <laughs> go for game. <laughs> well, that's... Uh, why did I do that? Not paying attention. Does it matter? I think not. What's going on? I was about to say, what the hell is going on? I was about to say, no. Okay, so I, I obviously got to talk about what I was going to talk about next game. Because this one's over. Damage step. Don't need to the gate 35 and we have won and be right back all right so we're going against monkey the luffy luffy so let's go ahead and get okay now i'm gonna say what i was gonna say with zodiac's topping 30 30 out of 32 i i like it i personally like it when a deck i was supposed to go second wasn't i i'm an idiot but uh i like it because what that means is if i go to a tournament i know i'm going to run into zodiac so that means i can Cater my deck towards Zodiacs and pretty much be uh, and then and then have a good chance to, you know, get me a top because now I know I'm going to probably play, let's say it's 10 rounds or something. I'm going to possibly play at least seven to uh, seven to eight decks, including, I mean, future and Zodiacs. And that's good for me because now I can I can make my deck pretty much based around that. Did you are you playing Cubics, you bastard? I can. <laughs> I can base my deck around playing, uh, like, I can basically put cards in my deck to stop Zodiacs. So that means um, every time I play Zodiacs, I can have the advantage of, 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 you know, I can have the advantage of playing. First of all, I can play, I'm playing a road deck. So Zodiacs, they don't have side, they don't have side decks for me. They don't have side cards for me. They're not maining anything special for my deck. I'm going to main Ghost Stalkers. I'm going to main Torrential. I'm going to main fucking... I, I could main, uh, what is his name? Like fucking, uh, okay. Well, let me stop cussing because I was cussing a little too much. The, what's his name told me? He told me I was cussing a little, what is this? Twin Twister? Um, absolutely. Because you're not even going to put a monster on board. You're going to just leave me with some stuff. Ooh, a Summoner Monk. I could just uh, ideal on Fusion real quick. Not Summoner Monk, but a Lord of Darkness. So, 
Wait, he has a light in there? Why not? Oh yeah, that, that, that was really good to get rid of too. Um, let's do you, get that back. So with that being said, as long as the deck is not, you know, too overpowered, like, like, like Pepe was, you know, ooh, Spider Girl Misty. Uh, I think that gets banished. Um, and then I could, you know, I can monk and get a Spy Girl Misty like that. And then go in Utopia and attack over. Um, no, let's a lore again. Let's see what we can do. Ooh, ooh, okay, that's, hmm. I think I want Summoner Monk banished. Yeah. Because we're going to normal summon you. Use this effect. And then Wonder Wand it. I think we're going to attack first. He's playing Cubic, so... No, I don't, I don't think we should attack. I don't think we should attack. Wait, we're definitely going to roll it first because I don't want to draw into the card. But yeah, with, with Zodiacs being the best deck, that means I can basically put... I have a better chance at topping... Because Zodiacs are uh, are the best deck, and everybody's gonna be playing Rapt here, so that means I can play stuff like DD Crow. I can play, you know, just random shit to get around hit like a Zodiac. Oh, I don't want to negate that. I can play random shit to get around a Zodiac while also maintaining my own like, you know, my own fucking, you know, not oh shit. Let me stop. Oh damn it. But oh, okay, <laughs> I could still play, you know. Wait, what else? I got a win one too? Jesus Christ, bro. What do you have in your graveyard? Um, the I can basically my deck is going to be able to, you know, I can play around Zodiacs. They can't play around me. So the more Zodiacs I play. Oh, you bastard. That doesn't activate or something. Okay, we're going to book you, so let's see if that works. Um, you know, the more, uh, the more, the, the more, the more Zodiacs I play, the better my, my chances get. So now if my deck is teched out to beat Zodiacs, that means I have a good, I have a good chance. Every time I play Zodiacs, I can beat that deck. And so that's going to make me win a tournament easier because, you know, it, it's one deck. Most of my side deck has to be, I can dedicate, you know, 10, 10 to 12 cards dedicated to that in my side deck. Like I don't. What what's going on? Okay, I know what I can do. Wait, what what happened? Why am I getting cubic counters? Well, that sucks. But now, like you know, when when there's only one you know one powerful deck, it's it's you know I I can basically my side deck does not have to be, you know like and when it's like six or seven decks at the top or I gotta worry about. I'm trying to I'm trying to put this away. If there's like six or seven decks I do have to worry about, that means I can only put a maximum of three or you know two cards for, against all these decks, and I don't want to do that. I, I want to literally have one deck that I have to play against, not have to play against, but I want one deck where it's good enough. So you know that's the definitive best deck. Now I know when I go to to a tournament, if I go to a a, a regional or YCS or something, I know I'm going to be playing Zodiac. So now. I can prepare against Zodiacs because I can play against any other deck. Road deck, okay. Um, Inferno is, like I said, I was sorry for Inferno. It's like, you know, Lancius and stuff. But like the rest of the cards, I can just prepare for Zodiacs because once you get to like 3-0, 2-0, after that, you're going to just start seeing rap, you know, Zodiac, 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 Zodiac. And so with that being said, now it be, it comes down to skill. It's like, I know what your deck does. You're, you, you're, you have the advantage because your deck is way better than mine's. I'm at a disadvantage because I don't, I, I can't compete with your deck, like, power-wise. Like, your deck is completely faster, more consistent, all that stuff. Let me get into another duel. My bad, it was a match. So, uh, he, you know, they have the better deck. They have all this stuff. Okay, that's fine. Um, I mean, I, I'm, I'm just going to call monsters because it's it's probably a monster. Um, yeah, let's just call monsters. Uh, so... With, with that being said, oh, really? A spell? These, uh, I probably shouldn't be digging in my deck. But hey, we're going to do that anyways. I right, Twin Twister again. Okay, well, can't beat that. So, I I need, you know, I need some type of advantage against him. 
my advantage would be I, me knowing what deck I'm playing, me knowing how to play against this deck, me knowing the cards in this deck, me knowing all this stuff. And he basically ain't got no chance, to, not like no chance, but he has no knowledge of my deck. He just has to beat me. So now that puts into my skill of how, how good I built my deck to beat the Zodiac deck. Now with Pepe, that shit was ridiculous. There was nothing I could have put in my deck other than like triple Foster Nine, triple Vanity Sphine to stop that deck from, you know, going off on me. That That's different. I don't want a deck where it's unbeatable you know what i mean like i don't want to play against an unbeatable deck but i would love you know i love to play against a deck that you know it's it's just because really consistent i i'd rather play against that deck than you know something like pepe or something like that because pepe was awful i'm just going to say that outright pepe was just completely awful there's really nothing i can do like nothing really a lot of people can do about it another spy gal misty okay so Let's call monsters. Come on. Damn, it's another reincarnate nightmare. Why? Oh, I gotta waste this. I gotta waste this. What's the name? I gotta waste this uh Regeki to get um Spike Out Misty. Last one out of the deck. We're gonna call spells because we need the draw. We need the draws. We need the draws. We need all the draws. We need Spy Gal, Misty draws, and all that. Everything. So we can go. Ooh, that's pretty good. That was really good, actually. So what we can do. Oh, no. 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 Why? Why can't I cancel? Oh, okay. No, I made the right card. <laughs> I really thought I picked Augusta Emerald, but I, I did make the right call. But yeah, um, it, like I, I really I, I don't like it when it's unbeatable. Like Necros, at first I hated the deck because I like I was like I can't play around Trisha. But then as the format went on, I started to build my deck around Trisha. Like I started to pretty much okay. I know what Necros are going to do. They're going to try to trish me at a point in time. So now let me put in cards where if he goes into a trish. You know, I can chain a certain amount of cards. I won't, you know, I won't be able, he won't be able to trish me. You know what I mean? Like, stuff like that. I find those are better because it's like, I'm not trying to play against 6,000 decks at one time. Don't tell me that it works. It really works. I'm, I, I'm thinking I'm playing around this. Wait. Oh, man. I really thought I was playing around it. It's the only reason I went to Casale. But, uh, hold on. Yeah, so, like, it gets Necros. Like, when I first started playing against I hated it because it was like, fuck, I'm getting trished. I can't stop it. I can't do anything about it. But then, the more I played, the more, wait, no, that's what I was about. I left on a, really, you drew the third one? Or I put that one back? I put that one back, right? Okay, well, you drew it regardless. But, what I'm saying is, uh, I, I don't like to have to play against I know a lot of people like multiple format, you know Multiple for like multiple deck formats where it's a whole bunch of decks, you know like that that could you know top and win That's cool. But I to, for me Competitively, I would like to you know keep my focus on one deck because the side deck is only 15 cards It's only so much card you can side for every deck. I can't I can't compete against every deck like Inferno, I can't side for Metal Foes, I can't side for ABCs, I can't side for Infernoids, I can't side for like, not not Burning the Bits, but like, like 60 card Light Swarms, I can't side against all these decks, I would have to, you know, only play a certain amount of cards, and it just, with 15, you can't do all that, so I would rather have a deck like, you know, like I always say with Zodiacs, the most they can do to you, the most they can do to you, is, you know, a Drancia and an Emerald, Drancia or like a Kajisuchi, just some it's not even like powerful. That's what I'm saying. Like it's not to where you can't play Yu-Gi-Oh. You can you can play Yu-Gi-Oh fine and dandy with that deck. Against like decks like like Pepe or something, you couldn't play Yu-Gi-Oh. You was, you literally was, you know, you was losing, you know? All right. So he sent the let me let me just try monster. I know it's going to probably be a spell again, but yep, see look at that. This lawn mooring. Oh god, that's bad. That's really bad. Okay, I know what to do. I know exactly what to do. 
since it's going to be a lawn mowing deck, I mean a lawn mowing card that he draws, let's go ahead and just Eidolon summon. And then go into the, the, the dark one. There's a wind. Oh. Yeah, let's banish his cubic. Let's just get that right in defense mode. And this this oh wait, we can get around that because it can attack it. He won't he won't draw it, but I don't think he's gonna realize that. I don't think he's gonna realize that uh I was gonna make it two thousand, huh? Yep, he's gonna make it two thousand. But like I was saying, I like that Zodiacs are the best deck. You know, I, I enjoy it. I, I'm I'm good because it's not it's not an overpowered deck. And as you see, Zodiacs are so fragile, they're throwing in my body as a shield. Like Necros didn't do that. I understand, you know, you really did I mean you didn't really want to destroy, it, but like when they had um what's the name on the board? When they had uh when they when they had that uh what's the name lock, the Digin lock, you know, shit, they was getting uh what's the name? Like they was uh like they, they was losing to like Regeki Darko. Like that was the only outs. Like they could have easily teched in my body as a shield, but they didn't need to because that's how powerful the damn deck was. You know what I mean? With 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 um with Zodiacs, they're so fragile. They know that Darko Regeki pretty much puts you at such a disadvantage playing Zodiacs. Like when you get Darko Regeki, that you can't really recover you can't recover too much. So that's why they put in my body as a shield. Like they literally put in a card that hasn't been played in I don't know how long. They literally put that in their deck so they can, you know, so they can withstand against the format, which, like I said, I enjoy. That That's good. That's good that I see that Zodiacs are changing the way their decks are built so they can, uh, what do you, what, what's going on? If this way, since the graver. Okay, so I already went Castell. I can't get it back. So, <clears throat> this doesn't pierce or anything, does it? Okay, so, yeah, like, it's, I, I'm cool with, uh, what, what does that do? What's going on? Asshole. Um, but yeah, like, I have no problem, you know, like I said, uh, with, uh, like, there's no other decks that really put in, I would say, you know, just, they, they're teching in cards that, you know, they're not, like, no, yeah, okay, I was on My Body as a Shield, because I'm over here reading cards, but yeah, My Body as a Shield hasn't been played since I don't know how long, you know what I mean? Like, and now they're putting in a deck because they know, they know that the deck is so fragile that it loses, you know, to the, the simplest of shit. What? Oh, I didn't read that part. I didn't know it said that. It said you can fucking make a second and third attack? That's just ridiculous. What do you do? Okay, so once again, we're going to call Monster again. Because, oh my god. We got to call Monster again. Because I'm not I'm not finna deal with this. We got to call Monster again. If, if we miss, we just miss, man. We miss, we miss. I got to call Monsters. There's this, if we miss, okay, thank god. We, we finally hit. We finally hit, because I was going to call spells, but we finally fucking hit. Um, see, look, now what we can do, we do want to, can we, there's no way we can go to light one, right? Yes, we can. Never mind. Uh, so we're going to do this. Um, yep. Do this and get free two draws. But yeah, man, like I said, like, uh, you know, in, any other deck, they didn't really put in shit to stop. Uh, to, to stop mass destruction, but you know, Zodiacs are fair, man. They're, they're probably the fairest meta deck we're ever gonna probably have. Ooh, they're the, the fairest deck we'll ever have. I, I I guarantee you guys on that one. There's the fairest deck that we're ever gonna have. I fucked up again. I fucked up again. Um, I fucked up again, folks. I know what you're wondering. How did you fuck up, man? It's because I believe this is gonna be like chain link one. Uh, no, not chain link one, but I think it's going to be uh I think it's gonna be chain link Yeah, this is gonna be chain link one and then the trap card is gonna be chain link two. Being in he's gonna just get this effect out. Now if he's wait, what is this? You can oh let me read this before we even get any further. 
Oh no, he doesn't even have it in his graveyard. Okay, never mind. And you can't even spell. You can't even use this effect because you don't even have three, do you? Or is it up to three? No, it's up to three. Okay, well that's a piece of shit. But yeah, man, Zodiacs were probably the fairest meta deck that we're ever going to have, like in history, and like in the history of Yu-Gi-Oh, or in the foreseeable future of Yu-Gi-Oh. What is going on? Oh, I was about to say, please don't cheat me. Like. I don't think there's a, a a deck that's even more fair than that. Like, plants were pretty fair, but they're very consistent and very, like, fucking powerful. Like, what else? Dragon Rulers were ridiculous. Clee Force was definitely not... There was nowhere near fair. Like, ABCs weren't even fair. You get a 3,000 beater that banishes that uh, special summons three monsters on the, in, on your turn, on your opponent's turn. So, it's like, you know, yeah, I think we're going to end it off of that. But... Yeah, Zodiacs, I don't think people should complain about Zodiacs because we have a fair, it, it's fair engine, it's not overpowered, it's very consistent, they're probably going to have to hit Terra Top and stuff like that, Inst I mean Norton and stuff like that, but besides that man, you can't ask for a fair meta deck, what would you rather play against, Zodiacs or you'd rather play against DDDs? I, 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 I'll tell you right now, I don't want to play against DDDs man, no, I don't want to play against two spell negators and a crystal wing. And then they could just rebuild their field next turn. I don't want to deal with that, man. That's just ridiculous. I'd rather deal with a Drancia uh, and, and a Digusti Emerald and an occasional Kaiju. That's fine with me because I know I can be... The deck is so easily, you know, like... It's so easily... You can break their board easy. With with DDDs, you're not breaking their board. You're like... You, I mean, you if you do break their board, they're going to just... You're going to have to use all your cards and then they're going to just smash you right back easy as that because ddds can recover zodiacs they, they can recover but it's not it's not like they're building impressive boards back like pepe you beat their board they can build another impressive board because they still have another ignister in the deck they still have like reflesia they still have uh castell they still have all these cards they still they still have just regular pendulum monsters they have three Kieran. i don't think they were playing three kieran but they still have all that with cosmos i don't think you guys want to even know what Cosmos can do. If you haven't played against Cosmos, go look up some Cosmo duels from, I would say, December, or around that time when there were four power, when there's three Dark Destroyers. Like, it was very hard to get over that. Like, they can easily be built because their fill card is a, is a, is, it shuffles, if you draws you cards, it adds cards back, and it, and it search, it can search itself again. It can search any Cosmo card in the deck, which was crazy. But Zodiacs, the best thing they can do is go into a Digusta Emerald and put their cards back. And you just got to keep dealing with the Rapture combo. And like I said, that's fair. I'm fine with it. I would rather have that deck. I really wish it got 32 out of 32 so more people can buy the deck, so more people can play it. So that means when I go to a tournament and it's 10 rounds or something, I'm playing nothing but Zodiacs. And I'm fine with Zodiacs. Every Zodiac I've ever played, well, I've only played, what, two Zodiacs in real life, but I don't even know why I'm using this example, but... Most most Zodiac duels I go I, I play against, uh, and online like on Yu-Gi-Oh Pro, it's really it's, it's not like no two o blowout eight thousand to zero. It's you know it's a standard match. Like I can I can break I can break their board and go drop my Omega and it's like they it's not like they can just you know overcome and put five monsters on board. They can't do that now. So like I said, it's fair. I don't know why people are complaining. Like I said, they're way more powerful decks in zodiacs i mean zodiacs are very consistent a very good engine and i know it may it, it may get annoying that you're sitting here looking at this damn rapture like rapture is going to get pretty annoying to look at it you know in a month but i you know i'd rather deal with this than deal with abcs i'd rather deal with this than metal foes i'd rather deal with this than uh cosmos i would rather deal with this than ddds eidolons all these decks that are coming out that can look look at this card right here this card right here negates and banishes that's ridiculous this is a one card fusion this is a one card plus two terraform becomes a plus two activate this and get this you add some in this and you get another card and then you fusion form your opponent's graveyard and then you can get this card back to your hand so it's like a plus three that's ridiculous off of a terraforming and then you got to probably deal with this you got to deal with like the wind witch eidolons you realize we have to deal with an indestructible crystal wing and and a, a book of moon that can easily go to 3,200 because this is in his hand. Like, re that's ridiculous. Like, just think about it, folks. Look look, look at what Zodiacs put on the board and, and just ask yourself, 
do would you rather deal with a Drancia, a, a Emerald, or would you rather deal with uh, a, a what's the name? What is his name? Crystal Wing, a Book of Moon, a Crystal Wing and a Book of Moon. Would you rather deal with a uh, Dragon Buster that can pop and float? Would you rather deal with um, what does DDDs make? They make their they make a DDD negate spells. They make a Crystal Wing and Titanic Hope. Like what? Do, like I if if you're asking me. I don't care if you get the emerald. Like I don't care if you get the cards back in your deck. You're not building an impressive board. You cannot, pretty much. You can. You have a Drantia. That's fine. Like I said, there's there's cards around Drantia. There's cards around a lot of cards. But when you're going against a deck that can spam two, that can spam two cards that negate spells and that negate spells, and one negate spells and traps. And then the other one negate monster effects, and they can still build their board next turn. That's just crazy. But yeah. So yeah, that is it for today. I uh, hope I did get the message. I hope you guys did understand what I was talking about and all that. I know, I, you know, I, I kind of get sidetracked with the duel. And I uh, yeah, hope you guys did enjoy the duel. We, we played, we won, beat, us, we beat a, a cubic deck. Um, and this deck, too, is dis disgusting. They bring out a 3,000 double attacker that burns for 3,000 at the end of the damn, at the end of the uh, game. At the end of your turn, they burn you for 3,000 after they attacked you with two 3,000. So think about it. Just think about this. If BLS can it. If BLS had the added effect is to burn you for 3,000, that's pretty much what they got. And it's stupid, but like I said, I'd rather deal with Drantia and I'd rather deal with Emerald than deal with that. I'd rather deal with Invoker, Emerald, uh, Drantia. I'd rather do that. That's that's more fun. I mean, that's easier to crack than, you know, what they put up on board, but I'm using a whole bunch of uh, examples. So, yeah, that is going to be it for today. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys.